What's going on everyone? It's Jossie here and this is my distraction list morning routine to have a productive day in 2022. Thank you to Remarkable for sponsoring today's video. The Remarkable 2 has been my go-to for a distraction-free morning routine so I can do my best thinking. I find a great sense of joy and serenity when I disconnect from the outside world. I've been reading this book called The War of Art and it talks about the resistance we receive when trying to create. Luckily, Remarkable was generous enough to send me their Remarkable 2 paper tablet, and I have to admit, this minimal paper tablet has really helped me break through the resistance to create and stay in touch with my creative side. Since the Remarkable 2 isn't connected to social media, it allows me to freely focus on writing by converting my handwritten thoughts and notes into text through a paper-like writing and reading experience. I've always felt that the interaction of pen to paper allows me to be more creative through thoughtful and easier to remember any notes I'm writing. But to be honest, I've shied away from sketching and note-taking on traditional notebooks with pen and paper. The main reasons is because I'm simply not organized and can lose things pretty quickly. I also have pretty bad handwriting. Luckily, the Remarkable 2 paper tablet allows me to experience a paper and pen writing and reading experience with the ability to organize my notes digitally. With the Remarkable 2, I can access my documents on all devices because of its cloud integration with the Remarkable app and integration with Google Drive, Dropbox, and Microsoft OneDrive. The Remarkable 2 paper tablet fills a void I didn't realize I needed to be filled. In the mornings, I have dedicated time now where I jot down words of gratitude, create my daily to-do list, and brainstorm some ideas for my future videos. Check out the link in my description box to learn more about the Remarkable 2 paper tablet and how it can help you experience better thinking. Working from the comfort of my home has been a major plus the past few years, but I notice that I'm much less productive throughout the day when I don't have a morning routine and just roll out of the bed and hop on the computer. The first thing I do in the morning is brush my teeth, which is how most people start their day, or at least I hope they do. On warmer days, I try to take advantage of the scenic New Jersey neighborhood that I live in that's only one train stop from New York City. I usually walk to one of the piers that's only about a 10 minute walk from our apartment. It's a major plus to be able to wake up and walk 10 minutes to get arguably the best landscape views of New York City. After taking my walk, I'll head to one of our three gyms that our apartment building has access to. Personally, showers have been the best way for me to wake up in the morning and feel energized in the morning. After showering, I start the process of my skincare routine. This routine has been one of the few that I do consistently. After doing my skincare routine, I'll get dressed for the day as if I was going into office. I think that it's important to get dressed and treat my work days from home the same way I treat my days working in office. My morning routine is far from perfect. And if you watched my last year's morning productivity video, you'll probably notice some similarities between my 2021 video and this 2022 video. You'll also notice some differences. Routines should be fluid. I think just the idea of having a routine and being consistent with just having a routine is ultimately what will actually make you more productive and help you achieve whatever goals you have for each day. To be 100% transparent with you, I find that I'm way more consistent with my morning routines when either one of two things are happening. Either I have a video, like a YouTube video that I need to finish editing and I need to upload in order to release it around noon, or maybe I just need to get a draft over to a brand in the morning, or the weather's actually really nice and warm and sunny so i feel extra motivated to go outside get up early get some fresh air take a walk maybe go on a run or even work out in the morning so basically the warmer the weather the earlier i typically get up 
I also find that when I work out in the morning, I have so much more energy throughout the day. I also feel like I can critically think a lot better. I can be more creative. And I think a part of that is because when you wake up in the morning, it almost feels like you have more intimate time to yourself and to your own thoughts. And of course, when comparing getting up in the morning and taking a walk or going on a run or doing some exercise, it's a lot easier to do it in the morning opposed to at the end of a work day where you're already burnt out and exhausted. So that pretty much wraps up my distraction list morning routine for 2022. Thank you to Remarkable for sponsoring this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you all soon. Peace.